Hey guys, it's Dress Up Style. I feel like I haven't been around for a little while. Um, I just feel kind of like unmotivated to show you guys what I'm buying, I guess. What I'm shopping online for. Um, cause I'm not really wearing it anywhere. I did just get this top recently. There's a little bit of a story behind it. Um, I got it from Thread Up. And I absolutely love this top. In the picture, it looked a little long. Like, I knew it would be a longer shirt for me. And then when I got it, I looked and researched the brand. And it actually is a little girl dress. But it works and it fits. And I love it. And it doesn't matter to me who it was before because now it's my top. So, if you clicked on the link today or clicked on my video today, you came to see what I got in my Stitch Fix. So, if you haven't watched my videos before my name is Jessica thank you for checking out um, my stitch fix today but I do them a little different so I open them up and I try them all on and then I'm gonna put pictures in the video of how they look on me so they keep them a little shorter and then you guys can feel like you don't have to spend a half hour watching um, my whole video but I am gonna get a couple things so stay tuned to see what they are all right, so if you haven't done Stitch Fix before, you um, get a stylus and put five pieces together for you. Price point is usually 40 to $70 per item, so that does scare me a little bit. So also, this is number 10, Stitch Fix number 10 for me. Um, I am a very budget-friendly shopper. And I know that I can get quality items in my style for reasonable prices. So it is hard for me to spend money on things that are higher priced. So I do ask for the lower price items. But if it completely wows me and I cannot let it go and I keep thinking about it or keep looking at the picture I took, then it means that I'm supposed to have it. So I want... Um, you guys would know that my stylist is also named Jessica and she does watch my videos. So hi, Jessica. And, um, I just share the note this time. I'm just going to put it up on the screen here. I'll kind of um, take a picture and make it wide so you can read it. But, um, it's my number 10 and she was happy that, um, she got to watch my thread up favorites or my thread up obsession video. <laughs> And she noticed that I liked some floral pieces in that video. So she took some dares and sent them to me. So if you wanted to read, just pay attention <laughs> to the note up here. Um, and that she's also happy in that thread of video that I finally found a pair of um, new leggings with leather details. So I know that she's probably thinking, what can I pair with them? So also in that note, if you're new to Stitch Fix, you get like styling cards too. Sometimes I feel like they're a little more um, more feminine than I would wear, but uh, I do kind of like take them into consideration. And then there is a price list. So for this, if I would buy all five pieces, I get the $20 styling fee back and then also 25% off if I got all five and that would be $176.50. So I know stitch fixes can be pricey. Like I know I've heard of people like, like over 300. So she does do well with um, trying to get my style. And I think that this stitch fix was probably the closest to I wanted to buy all five. Okay, so let's get started. There's no bundle to show you because I've destroyed it. I'm going to show you the shorts first. And I'll put the picture up. <clears throat> So these were the shorts. They have like a button front detail and they're fraying. So you can see the pictures here. I liked how they fit. I loved the front detail. I loved the buttons. But the fraying was a little harder because it just felt really juvenile to me or like boho, like festival kind of. So I think if they were probably a little more just like cut off and not super frayed, I would have liked them. But they fit really well. And this brand is um, Just USA. Like 
Stuff USA. And I will put the prices up here. But they were $44. So $44 for a pair of shorts is a little expensive for me. But like I said, if they were amazing, possibility. Because I know all the shorts I have in my closet right now are too big. So here is a shirt that I really like. This is very much my style. A black background with some floral. And then it has the cold shoulder detail. And there's also a little bit of like, you can see it, like crisscross in the back too. So check out those pictures. I did really like this and I am I know that I'm keeping this. This is almost like right when I put it on, I know that I was going to get it. So it is see-through like when you're folding it up, but because it's black on the body, you can't really see it. So I probably just wear a black bra under it and not have to worry about like a tank or something on that one. All right. So I really appreciate that Jessica sent this to me because it is my style, but the price just was like, I can't do it. Um, I did forget the brand on this one. This is um, Kaylee or Kayla. Or Kaylee, I bet it is. And that one's 38, uh, but I'm definitely going to get that one. Okay, so my last Stitch Fix, she sent me a top that had this same look. And as I looked at my Pinterest board last night, this style is definitely on there in different um, prints. So thank you for sending it. I just wish it was like $40 cheaper. <laughs> but it has a cold shoulder here and that detail in the front. And it, this time it's a dress and it's a, a more of a bodycon, but it's not like suck me and I can't breathe. It definitely had movement to it. So you can check that out. This is $68. It's too expensive for me. It was a little tighter on my belly, but I think I would just wear different underwear and then it would look smooth. Um, but this is by Gold Ray. And everything she sent me is a large or my um jean size okay so I'm gonna say no to the black dress unfortunately but this next one was a little harder because I was like it's so comfortable and it did fit really well so this is a jumpsuit so that's the front of it but it is a long long <laughs> jumpsuit I am five seven five eight so um I'm okay with long items. It didn't even really drag on the floor either. So, but it is so comfortable that I was like, I could just sleep in this. So this one is $58 and it's by Kaylee too. Um, but would I ever spend $58 on something I would sleep in? Probably not. Um, but it is really cute. The only other problem that I kind of ran into, I didn't really show it in the picture, but right here in the crotch area, if I wasn't, my hands were in the pockets, the material draped kind of funny, and you can just imagine what my problem was. So, but here are the, the pictures of this looking like super, super cute. Um, it was like 90% like, oh, I want this, but like, I couldn't do the price. Okay, and then the last thing is totally out of my comfort zone, and I'm keeping it. So let me show you. Move the box out of the way. Okay, so it took me a while. I asked my husband, like, should I get this? Like, is it something you can see me wearing? Um, but my daughter told me I should get it, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. So this is also a material that I could sleep in but I think it's really more dressier it's something I could wear like over a bathing suit or I could and it has like that it's like a silky material but it is um polyester and spandex but this is also polyester 
Um, and this is not silky. This is kind of crepey, like gauzy feeling. So I really like this. Um, it is a romper. Never owned a romper in my life. The print is really pretty, a whole bunch of different colors, but because it's a black background and not a blue background that she sent me before, it definitely helps. So check these out. Isn't it cute? What do you guys think? This is the one I like. I'm like, I don't know. But this is the one I kept saying, like, I don't know. I have to look at the pictures. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I couldn't live without it. And this is probably something I would never spend the money for. But it was like, where I'm like, this is not anything I have in my wardrobe. So this one is $58. And then the other floral, floral was 38 and then minus my 20 So I felt like... This is my Mother's Day gift to myself, spending a little bit more money than I normally would. Um, cause this shirt that I got was probably, I don't even know, like $8 or something that I'm wearing. But, uh, tell me what you guys think down below. Do you agree with what I purchased? Did you think that I should have got something else? Um, I was thinking about doing, uh, a theme box for my next one. It's going to come around my birthday, which is June 3rd. My box is going to come between the end of May and June 7th, I think. What do you guys think? What should I tell her? What should be my theme? Should it be colors? Should it be an event? Like, you guys tell me. You tell me what my theme should be. So you tell me down below. Um... And then also, if you like and subscribe, um, I would love it. I love chatting with you guys. And you can see my future videos. Also, I have a Stitch Fix for Kenzie where we bought all 10 items. So the last video that I posted for kids clothes didn't get a lot of views. So I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see what I buy for Kenzie anymore. Um, I think it's fun to see my growing daughter's style. She even goes on to her own Stitch Fix now and clicks yes or no if she likes things. And I also let her heart things on thread up. So I almost should let her have her own account soon. Obviously not because she's seven. But, um, tell me what you guys think. Do you want to see her haul? Um, and then make sure you let me know what my next theme for Stitch Fix should be. So, great. Bye guys. Have a great day.